Well, actually, I don't work in the area of origin of life. I just started reading about origin of life about four four years ago, and and uh, trying to understand where people were coming from. I was studying evolution, and and that brought me to evol to uh, origin of life. And then, as I started to look at the organic chemistry that's been done in the origin of life, I came to the conclusion that we're clueless. That humankind is clueless on where life began. And as I started to study the work, I felt that so much was being said that was untrue, that was just hyped up, and and not only are young students mystified and 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 bewildered by this, but professors themselves don't know, and professors themselves are lost in these issues. They 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 think that all of this has been figured out, that <clears throat> carbohydrates came from the foremost reaction, and life built up from from uh, an RNA world. Uh, because they've never studied it. They were just like me. I had never studied it and I took these things for granted. I trusted people and I see that I shouldn't have trusted them because when I looked at the data, it wasn't wasn't there. And I wrote one article on the topic, uh, uh, calling people out on it. And then that snowballed from there. I started being invited to give talks on this. And, and uh, uh, it's interesting that none of my colleagues privately would disagree with me. Uh, uh, they, they'd all agree with me that they didn't know. I'm, I'm an atheist, mm. but I don't think that is an excuse for me to demur on someone's uh, ideas or beliefs, right? As I talked about, I don't believe that belief and falsifiability in science actually interact. Belief, you know, false bit, where, where falsifiability ends, belief begins. And so I kind of do react against people like Richard Dawkins, who kind of assert that religious people are somehow not smart enough. Yeah, I find it problematic in that there's an extrapolation from a very small uh, uh, experiment in a laboratory, there's an extrapolation to giving people an idea that we really understand more than we do. And what I appreciate about Lee is that he said he's a scientist and he likes to have discussions where he can, and he quote, he says, and I like to have discussions where I can have arguments about evidence, unquote. That's what he said. I'm all for that. So Justin, you then said that you in GCSE biology, which I had to look up because I didn't know what GCSE is. And I figured I, I found out that that's sort of like equivalent to our high school. Yeah. You said there was some kind, quote, there was some kind of primordial soup billions of years ago on the surface of the earth, chemicals swimming around, maybe bolts of lightning going off. And somehow something happened and poof, you got your first sort of very simple cell or something swimming around in the ocean. And then you asked Lee, Am I right? And Lee said, you asked Lee, you said, is this view essentially correct or fundamentally wrong? Unquote. And Lee said, you're not wrong. Your GCSE chemistry is not too bad at all. And I'm like, what? Where is the evidence for this? Here is a man who just said that he likes to discuss evidence. You tell him that there's there's a primordial soup and somehow things sort of got going and that's how life formed. And, and you asked Lee, is that right? And Lee, being the authority on, on uh, origin of life, says, you're not wrong. Quote, you're not wrong. Your GCS chemistry is not too bad at all, unquote. And, and I'm like, this is the type of extrapolation that I'm talking about from one of the premier people in the world in origin of life. And I'm saying, OK, you got evidence for me? Help me. Give me the evidence for that, Lee. Give me the evidence. I'd love to have it. There's plenty of evidence. So I disagree with you that Justin's chemistry is just fine. Um, I don't know what the precise nature of that is. And maybe what you're getting at is some origin of life. People says, look, it was reducing, then it was oxidizing, then there was phosphorus and then there was sugar and there was RNA. No, we have, I would agree with you. There is no evidence about what sequence of small molecules were there, but was there a super simple molecules there on earth at the beginning? Yes. And we can trace it back to the Big Bang, where there we have proof that there was a Big Bang. And then we have uh, um, uh, stars forming and those stars explode. And when those stars explode, they produce elements in their elemental form. And when they accrete on a planet, they then gain complexity. Mm, OK, yes. Feel free to respond there, Jim. OK, so so Lee, 
That's not what you said, and that's not what you put forward. I agree. We have small so molecules that are might be oxidizing. Me. There might, no, might... I did not say anything else. That's exactly what I said. Justin said, "Was there a prebiotic soup?" And I said, "Yes, the evidence says so." No, and Justin said, "Then cells came forth. Life came forth from that." All right. So well, you, that, you is, were, the, well, that is indeed you, you correct. were a little bit loose on that. Let, 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 let's get more okay. specific. But what I'm saying is, you are the authority here. When you tell him. He asked you specifically, he says there was a primordial soup and life came forth and your very simple cells came forth from this. We have no evidence how this thing happened. Lots oh, of small molecules, that, that, you know a cell's pretty complex. We don't know how it happened, but the evidence on Earth says in the fossil record that life appeared very, very quickly, okay, after the late heavy bombardment. So that is evidence in the fossil record that is not disputable. I think we both agree, planet Earth formed, rocks, simple chemistry, no life, right? We don't know all the details of that, but then within a few hundred million years, there's evidence in the fossil record that life formed simple cellular life. Those two facts are not, as far as I know, disputed by those, the science, those, science those are not contestable. Community. How we got from the point A to point B, Absolutely, but I didn't clues. say. I did not say <laughs> okay. we knew. Right. So, so we agree, okay. we, so we keep, you and I agree, Lee, that how we got from the simple molecules to life, it happened, but we don't know how. Okay, exactly. so let, let, now, 